Get this kicked off in just a second. All right, morning everybody. Welcome to the Mortgage Coach Tuesday interview. I have three amazing guests that we're gonna mastermind with today. Uh, we have Greg Anderson, a power user of Mortgage Coach, who's done over 1,300 total cost analysis, over 30 in the past 30 days. And the thing I love about Greg is not only is he incredibly successful, uh, is on track to do over 100 million this year, did 88 million in production last year, but he's just an incredible advisor. He really pushes Mortgage Coach to the hilt in how he uses it. Uh, welcome to the, the call, Greg. Hi, Dave. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, well, I, I want this to be very mastermind oriented. So when you see something you like, uh, comment on it. When you have a question, ask it. And, uh, and then we'll share some case studies in the last half of the call. Sound good? Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. We also have Jacob Gibbs. So I think uh, a lot of people on the call know Jacob. You recognize his voice from a lot of our how-to uh, videos. Uh, he leads uh, product and support at Mortgage Coach. So if you think our support team does a great job, you know, Jacob has been a leader of that for forever, over 10 years. And, and when it comes to our product, I mean, he is driving the team. He is making sure that all the requests that you make are considered. And everything that our product does, uh, Jacob's got his fingerprints all over. What's up, dude? Welcome to the call. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for having me on, Dave. Appreciate it. So, so Jacob, one thing I want to make sure that we do is that anybody that's watching this and they're a mortgage coach member, and let's say they're an advanced user, if there's like a speed tip, like, hey, guys, make sure you noted this so that you can go faster, if you can make sure we call those out. And any opportunities to teach speed tips, let's make sure they get a lot of value to go faster with a mortgage coach today. Gotcha. Will do. Right on. And then we have uh, Joe Pateur, uh, my partner. President of Mortgage Coach. Uh, he is the product visionary of Mortgage Coach. So when you think of the platform that we have, all the integrations that it does, all the capabilities that it does, Joe is leading product, also helps uh, bring on new customers and keep the customers we have. So Joe, you are the star of the show today. And I know you have some things you wanna show that we do and you wanna make sure our members, um, they know certain things about a product. So let's rock it out, brother. Sure, sure. Well, I appreciate that. And it's really our members who are the star of the show with what they're doing in the market and how many families they're helping. And Greg, can't wait to hear some of the vision you have and the tips you have for the community and how they can better help the people that they serve. A few weeks ago, yeah. I had a chance to talk to many of you here in this forum about uh, capabilities of the platform that not everyone knew about. Uh, today, I have the pleasure of talking about more capabilities and some new things that just hit the market that many of you might catch some press on in, in all of the regular industry publications. So with that, we're going to uh, go through uh, some great capabilities here and really encourage the feedback, make comments, whether here in the Zoom meeting or on Facebook or social. And again, this is about community. So if you have other ideas, we do listen. As Dave mentioned, Jacob and his entire team track all the feedback and we make sure to consider uh, everything that's said by the by the market and by our members. So I want to start right now with HomeBot. And so many of you are going to see or have seen announcements about our integration with HomeBot. And HomeBot is a very forward-thinking organization. Their technology platform allows originators like yourselves to find opportunities from your past customers that you may not have had a chance to engage with if you weren't able to get that customer to interact with the content that HomeBot provides. So um, I think Jacob, uh, which if you don't mind sharing your screen, and uh, we'll just talk for a minute about what the experience is for the, the HomeBot uh, end user. And so when HomeBot sends out a campaign, uh, the campaign has content that identifies refinance scenarios that are applicable to that customer. And what makes our partnership with HomeBot different and innovative is that the customer themselves is initiating the creation of that total cost analysis. So as the customer is shown the various scenarios that they could refi into, they're actually able to look at more details of those scenarios and that drives them into the total cost analysis experience. And the way that that works is actually that in HomeBot, 
as soon as the customer looks at those various scenarios, so in this case, they're being shown a 15, a 30, uh, and, and whatnot, they're able to select get a detailed breakdown. And all of the information from the option that they selected is pushed into the Mortgage Coach Advice Engine for you to further customize that analysis for that client, whether they end up refinancing or maybe they end up as a move up buyer or maybe as a referral. Then they're taking this content that HomeBot delivered and now they're turning it into an opportunity to have a conversion conversation without you having to do any data entry at all. And all of that product information, the 15 year loan, the loan amount, et cetera, is all waiting for you inside of the uh, Mortgage Coach Advice Engine for you to work with. Now, as the customer, if the customer uh, ends up revisiting this content and selecting more options, those additional options will also populate that very same presentation. So if the customer has come in and they're moving around, they're looking at the 15 or 30, they're doing some self-education and what HomeBot provides, the total cost analysis is moving right along with that information. So that what you're going to receive within the advice engine is accurate and actionable for what the customer was investigating and for what you can consult about. So the HomeBot capability is available not only for our enterprise members, but for individual subscribers that uh, are also broker edition customers here at Mortgage Coach or individual subscribers of, of HomeBot. So I wanna take a quick minute and, and see, Dave, I know if you have any quick comments or Jacob, if you have any quick comments about the uh, HomeBot integration, but certainly we'll, we'll take a few minutes uh, to show it again here in just a second. So so community, if you have questions about the integration, let us know. I put a link to how to activate it in chat for both Zoom and Facebook Live. So if you wanna get a quick link, how to turn it on. Also in the Mortgage Coach Facebook community, I put a link to an interview I did with, um, with Ernie, the CEO. Greg, why don't we go with you first? I mean, you, you, what are your thoughts on this integration and how you plan to use it? Yeah, so um, I know that there's lots of people around that are using HomeBot, and I've I've kind of always uh, had this on my uh, you know things to implement in the future. So my list, and I watched your interview with Ernie and decided to move it up the list, and and made the call uh, yesterday to to start the getting that all signed up because you know I I think especially during this time for loan officers that have been in the game for a long time I've been doing this for 15 years so I've got over 3000 people in my database okay and it can be very difficult when you're looking at that database and trying to figure out okay who do I call first right and we can you know lots of different strategies but I think homebot if you, if you have a client who is now, you can see that they're accessing their report, well, that's who you call, right? It just brings that to the forefront of who I should call right now, who's ex at least exploring when, at least in my case, you know, I can only make so many phone calls in a day. So I need to make sure those are the most impactful phone calls uh, that, that I can possibly make. And so that's why I signed up for it. And I'm excited to be using it in the future here. Love it. So for Workage Coach community, Greg is a guy. How many, how many loans are you going to fund this month, Greg? Uh, 34 loans this month. 34 loans. So he runs a very high volume, extremely successful team. And, and notice how strategic he's being. And remember, guys, he's also doing 30 plus TCAs a month. And so it's all about that quality of marketing and that quality of advice. Jacob, anything you want to call out here, brother? I just, I would point out also that while we saw that the borrower can, can basically build their own comparative options, you still have control as the LO uh, to come in here and edit this proposal at any time. So um, when you saw the output that came across, the borrower actually went through this process a couple of times and viewed a couple of different uh, types of loan products. But remember, you can always get in here, assign your closing costs, edit this as, as you see fit. And that same link that the borrower was initially viewing and they got, they got that through their digest email, that same link is going to reflect your changes. So remember, it's not a set it and forget it. You know, it's going to do a lot of the work for you, but you still have full control to modify everything. So guys, one thing I want to make sure we cover on this HomeBot integration is when people are setting it up and turning it on, which remember guys, I put a link to that down below. 
they do have an option as to how quickly to provide the report. So Joe, let's start with you. You were, you know, part of the decisions that were made and the options that were given. You know, what did what is your recommendation to our community as to how they, they activate the integration? Sure. Well, I think every professional has a reflection on themselves about how fast are you going to respond to your customer and, and what's possible. Do you have an LOA? Do you not have an LOA? I think we were very receptive of the feedback to understand how do you want the information both served up to the customer and yourself notified so that you can take action in, in the appropriate amount of time. So today when somebody clicks that button, it can render the presentation instantly. It can delay it for an hour or it can delay it for a whole day. So it's really up to you how you want to respond to the customer. But our position at Mortgage Coach has always been deliver the immediate presentation, even if it's partial. It's got a lot of great data. You take live control of it and you know the minute they start interacting with it. And so I think that the, as Jacob noted, the ability to augment it instantly from either the mobile app or from the website, just being able to click the automated tab, you can see the HomeBot icon, you can see the exact analysis, and again, to be able to go in there and start uh, changing it and adjusting it. It is also important to emphasize what Jacob also mentioned, gotta say just one more time, because it's a really sophisticated thing that's delivering simplicity for the user, and that's that whenever HomeBot refers to this presentation, whether it's in their emails, in their UX, in their platform, it's going to the most up-to-date experience. Remember, the presentation is live. So if you added video and they clicked on it from HomeBot, your video is gonna be in that presentation. So when you create it, and uh, allow it to be rendered instantly, Dave, and then just augment it as fast as you possibly can. But again, the settings are in your control and the originators have the ability to set their preferences today. Um, and the whole okay. bot automated content, again, it's on the mobile app and online. So anyone can take action at any moment. So Greg, I'm gonna come to you in a minute with how are yeah. you gonna do it or whether you did it. But before I do that, Jacob, anything you wanna cover? Cause I know we've, we've had support requests about this and Anything you want to cover on how it should be activated in the, the recommended response? Well, I guess just for the HomeBot integration, look out for power-ups in your HomeBot. You know, when you log into HomeBot, you're going to see these uh, additional power-ups that are available to add integrations and so forth. One of them is going to be called Mortgage Coach. Make sure to tap on that one and request access to it. Um, if you are part of an enterprise organization right now with us and you have a site license, you're going to be set up one way. If you're not on a site license, that's okay. You can still take advantage of this uh, integration. Uh, your setup will be slightly different. So there's going to be a little bit of a time period between when you request and when your HomeBot actually gets set up. Uh, but we'll make sure and keep you in the loop at all times on that one. Uh, but basically just go in, hit that power up button, and then we'll start the process for you. Cool. And guys, my recommendation is to do the no review TCA sent immediately to the client. It's the fastest speed to lead and you've started the engagement process. But, you know, I want to hear what you guys want. Greg, what are your thoughts? Have you set this up yet? And do you have a preference? I haven't set it up yet. Um, but I, I think, you know, my big theme for this year, and I think we're all dealing with this, uh, is adaptation, right? So I am adapting to every client's needs. So if it's somebody who I, I know, hey, this guy is no nonsense, he wants the numbers, then absolutely, I'm going to send that right over. I know there's some other people that need a little bit more handholding. I'm finding just in how I'm using Mortgage Coach TCAs today, I have actually started Zoom meetings and then gone in and prepared the TCA with the client on, on Zoom so they can see the back end and what I'm putting in and you know, I can go through the each, you know, each box and say, hey, what about this? What about that? So it just depends on the client and their needs. And, you know, I want everybody, every family that I help to feel like they got the best service they could possibly have gotten for their mortgage experience. And as we know, every client's different in that way. Cool. Well, I know we got a lot to go through. So uh, if you guys have questions from the community, put them down below. We'll get to them. And uh, back to you, Joe. Yeah, thanks. So again, uh, this HomeBot integration available to anyone who's a HomeBot subscriber. And once more, the customers in any of their content,
they click that, uh, get more details, or they look at any of the refinance options that's being presented, it's uh, instantly rendered for them. So looking forward to uh, providing access to a lot of folks on, on the line. On the, the news releases, also you might be catching our uh, content about our success together with Simple Nexus and how we've been powering a lot of organizations to be able to reach more customers faster, delivering more options today so that people commit right now. A lot of folks concerned about the market, as you can imagine, but many, many people have the opportunity right now to take advantage of record low rates and put their home equity into action if necessary. And so the, one of the things that's important from, from our view, when we look at how we serve the lender and the borrower, is to make the experience as seamless as possible. Not only does that mean not having double data entry, but that means putting the presentation where the customer already is. And so many of you who are utilizing your own mobile app through Simple Nexus, you'll now see a mortgage coach analysis button. Um, that button, uh, it renders an immediate presentation. So as soon as the customer starts their online uh, application process through your uh, Simple Nexus experience, whether on the website or in the mobile app, it's now creating a total cost analysis in the background. So if they start their contact information and quit, you still have a total cost analysis to show them the power of financing today. If they go halfway through the application process, maybe put a purchase price, et cetera, but they get to the point where it asks for their banking information and they quit, as there's 35 to 40% of applicants today, you have an active total cost analysis to re-engage them, to bring them back into, and to really illustrate what it is to take advantage of financing options today and uh, you know, put their home loan uh, to, to work for them. And so when you click on that mortgage coach uh, button, it renders that total cost analysis without ever leaving the Simple Nessex experience. So in the same windows where they're taking pictures of their loan documentation, where they're sending you uh, proof of employment, et cetera, is the same place that they're able to go and see the total cost analysis, see the 15 versus the 30, the conventional versus the govy, or whatever it is that you're illustrating for them uh, to understand what financing can do right now. And so the presentation that is inside of Simple Nexus is fully featured. So it is 100% the same live presentation that you have now with Mortgage Coach today. So if you start uh, updating figures in the advice engine, if you start highlighting graphs and charts, if you start moving that presentation, it will move for the customer. So while Zoom, of course, as Greg mentioned, is an option if you want people to see your input, you don't need a Zoom or anything for people to follow along with what it is that's being created in the TCA. Because every time you enter something, it updates instantly on that presentation. So again, that experience is fully accessible within the Simple Nexus uh, app. So everything that you're doing is being seen in that uh, same comparison. So if you added video, and you put your video narration on that presentation. When you know, they click the mortgage coach uh, analysis button in Simple Nexus, your video is going to play, your narration is going to be there. So the analysis has never been more accessible and the content within that analysis is, is viewable as well. If your reviews are there, if you're pulling data, uh, everything of course is, is gonna be within that presentation. So I want to take a quick minute and, and see again, Dave, if you have any additional comments or questions, but we hear a lot about uh, you know, people today having to decide when to create a total cost analysis. In this case, every application already has one. The decision is how fast are you going to narrate it and how uh, well are you going to customize it? Love it. So guys, we're always trying to get the total cost analysis to the family faster and make the experience better. Uh, I'm not sure if you noticed it, when Greg shares a case study in the second half of the call, we'll show the integration we have with um, social survey so that they're getting that review. But the thing I love about this is it just gets the TCA to the family faster uh, with less friction for both the family and the loan officer. Another thing that the, the HomeBot integration does. Now remember guys, HomeBot integration works for both individual users and enterprises. This is an enterprise only um, option. So you need to be working for a company that has Simple Nexus as, their, as an app and has this integration turned on. So if you work for such a company, let your administrator or management know that this is an integration that's important to you. 
um, for individual users. Uh, this is not an integration that's available. Jacob, anything else you want to make sure it gets called out here? I would say just uh, the dynamic nature of this is the most important thing. This is the breadcrumb that opens the door and it's already in front of your borrower's face when they're dealing with your, your personalized Simple Nexus app. So if they're taking the time to go through your application, make sure to keep an eye out for your automated tab. Um, you, if you have some third party stuff that's coming through, whether it's from Simple Nexus, HomeBot, some of the other integrations that we're talking about today, just remember those are gonna land in your automated tab and if you see a number here, that means you got a bunch of files that you haven't clicked on yet. So that little blue dot there means it's something you haven't acted on yet. You can see the one that came from Simple Nexus today. I've already acted on that one. I started making modifications to it. It automatically moves it over to my recent clients list as well as soon as I make an action on that. So keep that in mind. If you don't see the automated tab yet, it means you haven't gotten any automated passes. But that's okay. Don't worry about it. Start using the integration. Start firing the information over and you'll start seeing the automated tab fill out and then make sure to take action on those because those are the hottest ones that are coming across. Love that. So for all you um, mortgage coach members, we integrate with anybody and everybody. This is an integration that we worked on and collaborated with Simple Nexus. But if you're with a company that has a different point of sale provider, let your management team know that, hey, we want mortgage coach and we want it to integrate with the point of sale because this is just another way to make it faster for you, easier. Um, if you're a broker, let your provider, whoever you're using for your point of sale app, know that, hey, I'd really like to see that mortgage coach integration. And guys, we go where the customer feedback takes us. So, and, and same thing with all the vendors in the industry. Um, if you let them know that mortgage coach is important to be integrated at the point of sale, um, it'll happen. So let us know, let your management team know. Greg, what are your thoughts on this? Do you like it? I love it. I think that any anything that we can do uh, to you know, compete with the tech companies that are trying to get in our space, um, I think is, is huge, right? And um, I can tell you just from my experience even recently that none of these tech companies are using these tools yet. And they're still using a cost sheet. Um, you know, some of the, the online mortgages that are, uh, or mortgage companies that are selling the idea that that they're cheaper because they don't pay commissions and these types of things, they're, they're still sending cost worksheets. And so we're knocking it out of the park by showing, you know, a true cost analysis for our clients. Yeah, there's no doubt. Guys, there's proof of that. I interviewed Brian Morley a couple days ago. It's in the YouTube channel. He is buying a home at the beach and he thought, you know what, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to, to, to shop six different lenders. A couple of them were big online national brands. A couple of them were local companies. Every single one of them gave them a fee worksheet and not a single one of them asked them what their goals are. Like, hey family, what are your goals? No one gave options. No one showed the cost over time. So guys, it's, it's a massive competitive advantage if you have this capability. Joe, anything else you wanna call out or do you wanna to go to the next feature? Yeah, just that uh, how simple Simple Nexus really is to implement. If you do have it in your enterprise, we're able to, to flip this on very quickly. And as you'll see in the news release today, uh, Union Home Mortgage, one of our lender partners, delivered more than 20,000 unique total cost analyses in under 90 days, providing an incredible opportunity for families this year to really put, again, their home into part of their financial plan. So really a, a fantastic opportunity to shift the conversation from you having to decide to create a total cost analysis to the total cost analysis being created for you so that you can have a quick and accurate conversation. And so the Simple Nexus success, like you mentioned, Dave, is just one of many point of sale solutions that we integrate with. And we look forward to helping a lot of folks on this call automate from that application and beyond. But Simple Nexus, again, uh, big news this morning, and, and I, I hope to help everyone here who has it. Uh, Love now it. So, so, hey, Dennis, Clark, and Dave, I'm going to get to your questions at the, the end. Sorry, I missed those when we were on HomeBot, but we'll come back to those as we close it out. I do want to make sure we get through some more, like, what's new and what's coming, and we want to make sure we get through some case studies. But keep the questions coming, guys, and if we don't answer them in this live call, we will absolutely give you an answer. You ask a question, you'll get an answer. 
Joe, what's next? Yeah, great. Well, uh, this, this is very exciting, of course. You know, here at Mortgage Coach, we put a lot of effort into listening to our lenders and research and development, how we can make technology that creates an impact in the home buying experience. And really, when you look at uh, the types of things that you can illustrate with a total cost analysis, you can illustrate any loan compared to any other loan type that there is. We certainly have heard feedback that there are more details about certain loan types that would really help the customer make a more educated decision and help you as a lender create urgency and illustration of value if we could provide an additional level of detail for some of these types of loans. And one of the first ones that we've taken on is making sure that we can show debt consolidation in a really elegant and informative way. And when you think about the home ownership equity positions here in the U.S. today, in 2010, there was approximately $6 trillion uh, tied up in equity. Right now, it's uh, over $18 trillion that are available and tied up in uh, people's home uh, situations. And so when you think about putting that equity to work, you have to be able to illustrate it, to help people really understand how they can adjust their financial position in a strong way by using their home in part of that strategy. And so Mortgage Coach spent well over a year, not only listening to our lenders, but really studying what needs to be illustrated and combining that with hundreds of calculations that have to be done behind the scenes to develop the debt consolidation uh, illustration that you're, you're about to see. So we're gonna walk through how you enter those debts. So right now, uh, Jacob is showing that you are going through the goals of the customer. The customer has identified that some financial management of their debts is in order, and you're able to in, uh, input all of those various debts and adjust the strategies that you're intending for that debt. Are you trying to make a fixed payment? Are you trying to make a percentage of a payment? Are you, well, really, what are you trying to do with that particular debt, or what's your debt in this particular scenario? And so, Jacob, anything else you wanna add uh, on this particular screen, before, again, we'll get to the output in a minute, but just the flexibility of the kind of debts that can be added and the adjustments that can be made. Sure, so um, one of the important parts here, obviously you can do the manual data entry like we're showing right now, but we are gonna give you the ability to bring these in from a Fannie Mae 32 file. So um, don't worry, you will have an ability to import these debts. Again, you can put them in by hand as well. Um, you can even earmark if they're making additional principal payments already on those debts. And then as we get into the new loan scenarios, that's where we're gonna choose what we wanna do with these debts, how we're gonna pay them off, are we gonna do it partial, are we gonna pay off the whole thing? Uh, are we gonna finance it in, are we gonna call for it close? So uh, all that kind of stuff is gonna happen on the new loan products and I'll get there in just a minute for you, but uh, this is the, the data entry point where you're gonna first start putting in your debts. Perfect, Jacob. And note that that's aligned with the same area in the advice engine conversation today where you're identifying the customer's goal and you know really where they're positioned uh, right now. But go ahead, Jacob, sh let's go ahead and go into the loan uh, product scenarios and show how we're gonna apply debt consolidation structures to our illustrations here. All right, so in this case, this is actually one where I'm, I'm choosing to pay off all the debts and finance them in. So you can see it lists all my current debts and then it shows my, proposed, my, my new proposed first mortgage. And this is of course gonna be including a lot of my debt payoff. Um, but there's my old mortgage right there. Um, I've got my auto loan, my credit card, and my installment. I'm marking those all to be paid off, and I want to finance them into the loan. So you can see that actually increased my amount financed here. You can see what my total payoffs here. So you can kind of do your own little worksheet uh, while you're going through it. And then if you actually want to see a preview of how it's going to look like when it gets to the output report, you can hit this preview button here. And then scroll down a tab and this is the new module that's going to be a part of the output. Uh, I'll show you this on the live presentation in just a moment here. Uh, but for this particular product, we're looking at the debt distribution and you can see it's dynamic. You can, uh, things move when you hover over it. Um, we can see that we're saving the money. They're paying a total interest of 215,000 over this uh, 24 year period of time. Um, you can see on the new loan scenarios, we're obviously saving them a bunch of interest. Then we get down and just show them, hey, what's your cash flow look like? Well, today you're going to spend a little over $3,000 on your monthly payment. Here's your new proposed monthly payment after we wax some of those high interest debts. Uh, then we get into the ability to look at the uh, itemized debts over the short and the long term. So you can see these tabs at the top here. We're showing the 36 month view and the 15 year view because those are the metrics I chose. 
Um, but we can see what the debts are doing. At this point, the auto loan is not quite yet paid off um, on our current side. On the new side, on the new debt consolidation side, we've obviously paid this off with the refinance. So we are no longer responsible for that debt. But this gives you a full timeline of where you are with the debts, how much you've paid in terms of principal, what's your remaining balance, what kind of, what, what kind of payment are you responsible for? And then of course, how does that affect your long-term scenario? What's your total net worth over time? Uh, what's, your, what's your total interest that you're paying on all these debts over time? That's really where we're gonna be able to save our borrowers some money. Now you can do this on each of the loan products individually. So for example, you might wanna show one where you're paying off debt and one where you're just totally leaving it alone. Perfectly acceptable. Um, you might wanna show uh, some partial payoffs. You can see in this one, and this one, I'm actually leaving one of the debt items open. I'm gonna say, you know what, don't pay off that car. We're gonna pay off all the other debts right now, but let's leave that car open because we got an LTV threshold we gotta worry about. Um, so you can certainly choose to do this in, in full. You can even pay it off partially if you want to and allow the, the remaining balance to continue uh, um, as a liability for them going forward. But once you're done with the data entry and you specify all the different types of debt scenarios you wanna show, the output, is right here. So this is our regular TCA. The difference is you've got a new debt consolidation call out at the bottom of each loan scenario that does have a debt consolidation. Obviously, if, if one of these I chose not to do any debt consolidations, I wouldn't see this uh, little call out. But each one has its own view here. So we're looking specifically at this scenario, what it looks like against the current scenario, what it looks like over time. And then each one of these has their own little pop out. And then of course, the numbers in the graphs here do reflect not only the interest, mortgage insurance and closing costs from the loan transaction, but also the interest from the debts. So that was the big challenge before is you could always say, you know what, we're paying off debt in the amount of $10,000. I'm gonna pad your loan amount by $10,000 and I'm gonna save you 200 bucks a month. But we couldn't tell them how much interest are we actually saving you from that debt. Mm -hmm. This presentation is gonna show them how much interest are we saving by paying off those debts specifically. Love it. I know, guys, we've had tons of feedback. Greg, what are your thoughts on that, buddy? Oh, I saw somebody made a comment, said they wanted to cry. I'm there. I think I have a tear right now. This this is like, so I, I've been doing this, as you know, Dave, for a long time, but I've been going to the other box and I put in whatever their monthly debts are that we're looking to pay off. And you, you can't put the detail in here, but this is like, you know, going from driving a you know, Monte Carlo to a Corvette, right? Like this is going to be amazing because it's hard to show people exactly, you know, what the benefits of doing this uh, is. And so it takes a lot of coaching from me or from, you know, whoever the, the user is to, to get people to understand, but this is going to lay it out. It's very clear. As, as Jacob mentioned, you can be on the call and you can say, okay, Hey, how about it? I, I know you, you have a great rate on this car and you really don't want to, you know, pay that off. So let's not pay that one off. Or, you know, there's some other scenario where uh, you don't want to pay a debt off or you want to add debts. It's just, um, I'm excited for this addition um, to, to the platform for sure. Love it. So Kevin Newton, who said, I think I want to cry, you know, and it looks like you like the mortgage coach integrations, let your management team know. And, he also asked Jacob to do a move up purchase with a debt console. We're not gonna do that right now. I, I can make that a topic for future calls and maybe even a Friday call. Um, if we have time at the end, maybe we can kind of speak to color on that, but we got about 10 minutes of showing you things in Mortgage Coach and then we're gonna bring Greg in. Uh, and then Zoe, I, or Zoe, I saw your question. Um, we will get to that before we wrap up today's call or I'll respond to you personally. Uh, so, by the way, guys, it's kind of interesting. Usually we get more people asking questions in our Facebook Live audience. You guys are being a little quiet, except for one or two of you. And uh, it looks like the Zoom audience is bringing the goods. So keep the questions coming, guys. Anything else, Joe and Jacob, before we move on to something else? And I, will, I would just emphasize, you know, this can be life changing for, for folks who just aren't connecting the dots. As many of us know, people in communities across the country think they need more dollars for a down payment than they really do. Uh, people don't realize just how much the uh, high interest debts add up to, uh, to their bottom line of, 
of what they can spend on a monthly basis. And so when you free up the cash flow for a family, you know, 10% more cash flow, 20%, 30%, I mean, that can mean the difference of quality of life on a day-to-day -day basis, simply by helping them understand what's available to them from a process that we all know well enough to feel that it's easy and navigatable, but the average consumer can find it daunting or impossible. And so just really? being able to illustrate it appropriately really helps uh, create opportunities for all of our customers. Three, two things on a technical capacity I wanna emphasize on, on this capability. One, that you can apply these debt consolidations to any scenario. So when you think about Simple Nexus creating a presentation on your behalf, you start engaging with the customer, you can update it. When you think about the, uh, the HomeBot integration creating a scenario or any of our other CRM integrations or, or other uh, marketing data solutions or lead integrations, any scenario that flows into mortgage coach, you can add a debt consolidation to, to really bring this information to life. Also, it is live, just like the other data in the presentation. So if you want to highlight fields, those fields will highlight. If you move to sections of the debt consolidation, so if you jump from one product in scenario A to the, the suggested debt strategy in scenario four, you're able to just make that jump that's moving for your customers. So well, Zoom and other screen shares are wonderful tools to have that type of modern conversation with the customer. You don't need anything other than mortgage coach. Anyone who's viewing that presentation sees it live moving. So if mom and dad who are providing some down payment assistance are looking at that uh, presentation on their desktop computer, and you've got borrower A on their iPhone and the other borrower on their Android device, everyone's seeing those changes, everyone's seeing that movement. A lot of our own customers don't realize that it's that robust, that that uh, exchange of information, that live experience happens for all viewers instantly. And we spent the time to make sure every um, type of debt in the debt consolidation can be individually highlighted and, and shown appropriately. So we're really sure. excited to get this out. It's going to be out here in the next few weeks. And, and we invite anyone who wants to help us beta test the uh, debt consolidation solution uh, to email. Um, is it beta or API, Jacob, that you want um, to email? We want to send to beta at mortgagecoach.com. Um, keep in mind, we're going to get a lot of people interested in this beta pool. So if you do want to be a part of it, uh, there is going to be an expectation that you produce at least three presentations for testing on this. I need your help. You know, we need a lot of feedback. There's a lot of great power users on this call. And I want to make sure we incorporate everybody's, every, anybody's challenges, anybody's feedback for things that could be improved. This is a big component to our software. So I want to get as, lot, as much feedback as I can. If you do want to participate, please email beta at mortgagecoach.com. I will get you signed up and get you onto the beta list and then uh, look out for your credentials once we get this over into a live environment. Uh, I can set you up and uh, I'll give you a couple of tips on what to look for. Um, but outside of that, I really do appreciate any help um, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Beta at mortgagecoach.com, guys. Real quick strategic point, take a picture of this. There's an image in, in our Facebook group. But guys, these are the three essentials to smart mortgage decisions. And, and this is what differentiates you and our community from the worksheet loan officers. Number one, giving options. So looking at people's different debt structures and giving them more than one option. And when they pick the option, they own it. They own the decision, you get the commitment. Number two, showing the total cost over time. Guys, this is common sense, but it's not common in the mortgage industry, but it's extremely common in our community. But make sure they have options, make sure they look at their goals over time. And then of course, always showing strategy. Number three, always showing strategies to make the smartest decision. So use that slide pre the total cost analysis or create your own version of that slide and make sure that when you show a total cost analysis, whether it's a debt console, refi, what have you, you're, you're educating families on this. Uh, Joe and Jacob, you got a little, about five minutes left. Anything else you guys wanna show before we bring in Greg to show well, some real world examples? We're good, Dave. I think that the scenarios Greg has are really important for people to be applying to their day-to-day -day business. And, and we covered a lot. So again, if anyone has questions or suggestions about HomeBot, Simple Nexus, any other integration provider we should add, or of course, if you wanna be part of the beta, say in the note beta at mortgagecoach.com. Otherwise, uh, Greg, uh, let's learn from some of your best practices. 
Yeah, cool. so Craig, let's frame it around your, we, we made this called the ultimate virtual mortgage experience. Mm -hmm. And I know because I can see how many TCAs you're doing, you're doing a lot of virtual mortgage experiences. So walk us through what you're doing and how you use a mortgage coach. Yeah, so um, let me share my screen here. So uh, this is uh, this is the the cool thing that was integrated. Uh, was this earlier this year, Dave? The the game just, just a, a month, maybe two months ago. Okay, we yeah. On, uh, uh, you like it? Time's flying. I love it. I love it. So what's cool is, I mean, as you can see, I've created a little over thirteen hundred. I know you know there's people like Jeremy out there that have done five thousand. But the cool thing is, you can you have a place to start, right? So start right down here, at white belt. And then as you create more, uh, you know, you have the, it, you can make it a goal, right? Like, hey, I want to become an orange belt this month. Next month, I want to become a blue belt, right? So just just have fun with it. Um, you know, a lot of us are, we're working seven days a week right now. And, uh, and this is a great time to have fun with this. I know I helped a, a, a colleague that, uh, that I knew from my previous company do his first TCA. Um, uh, last week and he, he got a lot of good feedback from the client one that he won over some other lenders there so it was just really cool to get get started on this and and he's i know on his way to becoming a a grandmaster so all right i love that hey, real quick before you go click on your actual red belt i want to call out guys if you click on that you'll notice that there is a download place where you can use that everybody who's a brown belt at mortgage coach the way you go from brown belt to black belt to red belt, it's one, do TCAs. You got to get 300, but it's two, mentoring other people. So if you're a brown belt or higher, I want you guys to download that. I want you to email and recruit a few other loan officers within your company or peers in the industry that you can help because that's how you become a black belt. You help other people. So Greg, thank you for that, brother. Yeah. Uh, and then of course, if you guys want to, you know, Brag about it on social media. We we love it every time we see Mortgage Coach in the real world. So let's, you want to do a refi or purchase first? Uh, yeah, well, let's, uh, well, refi seem to be the hot topic right now. So let's start with the refi. But, you know, the one thing I, as, as Joe and Jacob were talking there that I, I kept thinking is right now, you know, we're, this is the, the, the craziest time we've ever seen in the mortgage business, right? Unprecedented rates tons of demand out there. But I think what we need to make sure is that we're providing a, an experience that that client, even though, you know, I, I get it, it, it takes a little, maybe a little bit more time than just, you know, pressing a button and sending a fee worksheet. It takes a little bit more time to look at somebody's debts and see if they're going to uh, benefit from a payoff, right, uh, of some of those debts. But I think there's so many people who are missing an opportunity. Right. They're going they're going to uh, a lenders not doing this work. They are getting an awesome rate. So they're lowering their monthly payment. But what they're not realizing is, oh, my gosh, I could have paid off this other debt that would have been life changing. So instead of change, you know, lowering my payment by three or four hundred dollars, maybe I'm lowering my debt load by a thousand dollars a month. Um, and so I, I think somebody mentioned a, a move up buyer. I actually have a TCA I can share that I, I did last year for a client who um, looked at an opportunity to move up, but they had a lot of debt. And so we did a minimal down payment, paid off the debt. It saved them $1,200 a month in their monthly cash flow by doing that. So we so, can, I so can Greg, share that one later, Dave. Yeah, let's do that one later. Everybody, yep. if you're in Zoom, I put a link to this TCA. If you're in Facebook right now, I put a link to this TCA. I would encourage you to click on it while Greg goes through this because you can get the consumer experience. So I want you to think of it this way. You're a loan officer. You either texted this or emailed this to the family. If you click on it in Zoom or you click on it in Facebook right now, you'll be like, hey, you got an email from Greg. And now, Greg, if you could kind of walk through this, show off the live feature, um, yeah. call out, you know, when you use this with clients. Yeah, so I've, I've been doing videos with every TCA that goes out. And sometimes I'll do the video at the beginning and I'll update it as we go. So I, uh, you know, sometimes it'll be two or three videos uh, during the process. But I see, I find people really like it. Uh, and it actually does help with time. 
because I don't have to necessarily get on a Zoom meeting or a phone call and do a, uh, a live presentation because I can walk them through uh, with, with the video as well. So there's lots of different features that can help you with your time as well. So this particular client uh, came to me, He's, um, he had a, a 30 year fixed mortgage, as you can see, it was 350, four and a half percent, like no brainer, okay? This guy's gonna go, he can call anybody, he's gonna save a bunch of money. Um, he was interested in looking at a 15 year mortgage, just because he's trying to, you know, just like all of us, get debt free here by the time he retires. Um, but when I, uh, when he made application, I looked at his credit report, I realized, oh my gosh, this guy's got $1,300 a month in uh, student loans, okay? Tons of equity here in the house. You can see almost $400,000 in equity. So what I did was I showed him, okay, what, here's what he asked for. He asked for a 15-year mortgage refinancing his current balance. So I showed him that. That's what strategies one and strategies two are. Okay. And then I showed him, hey, if I go to the more info, you'll see that I have um, in, the, in the payment breakdown, you'll see the student loans that I added right here. So this is where I'm really excited, Jacob, to, to actually have debt where I can break these down, right? But I just took the other column. I changed it to say student loans. This is what he's paying. It's $1,130, sorry, um, of, of student loans monthly. So I added those into his payment. So his payment was only $2,600, but he's paying his student loans. So I showed him what he asked for, which is the, the refinance rate term into a 15 year. You can see that his payment is going up $450 a month with both strategies, but he's lowering his freedom point by 10 years. That's hugely impactful. There's a lot of people who would say, that's a great deal. Let's do that. It's lowering 10 years off my mortgage and it's only gonna cost me $450 a month more. Awesome, I'm down. So what I did with him is I said, hey, let's look at Fannie Mae has a program where you can still do a rate term refinance and get the best rate and pay off your student loans. So let's look at, let's look at your student loans and pay those off. We did a 15 year mortgage and that's, that's the strategy three here. We did a 15 year mortgage. He got an amazing rate. His loan amount went up substantially but his payment went down almost $200 because we paid off the student loans, okay? So his freedom point drops 10 years and he saves $200 a month. Like, wow, I promise you 99% of loan officers would have never taken the time to look at that and they wouldn't have had the tool like, like Mortgage Coach to be able to illustrate that to the client this gentleman happened to be, uh, happens to be a teacher at one of our local high schools here. He's already referred me somebody who's gonna buy, buy a house here this summer. So this, the time that I took, uh, you know, is saving him a ton of money, something that most people wouldn't show him and it's already returning in referrals back to me. So I want everybody to write down the acronym LC and the industry calls that lead conversion. And, it, and the industry works on how to create better lead conversion. But the LC right here, guys, it was life change. He created life changing value through providing clear advice. So guys, if you wanna optimize lead conversion, look for every family. How can you teach them something they hadn't considered? And how can you teach them something that's literally life changing to them? So great, great job, brother. Jacob, anything you wanna call out on this? Any uh, Jacob tips? I guess, uh... Just the first thing is obviously Greg can't wait to get this debt consolidation in your hands. You know, um, being able to show that extra interest savings will just make it that much better. So uh, yeah. I, I definitely got you on the beta group. Um, but outside of that, I, I would say the only other thing I, I might consider on this one, um, and a lot of people kind of ignore this, is that what's happening to that $197 that you're saving them? Right. Even if you're not going to reinvest it in anything, I might still make it mattress money put it in their savings account at a zero yield rate. That way, when you're looking at the long-term comparison, maybe if you want to shift over to net worth at some point, you can actually show that that equity growth, or I'm sorry, that asset growth. Um, right. But I mean, this tells the story on its own. And I would say, you know, it's hugely impactful. I mean, for the, 
for the problem you're trying to solve and you're providing them a cash flow savings, it's a knock out of the park. I love it. Joe, any color you have or anything you want to say? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, I think it's important to think about how you illustrated that unique Fannie product. And just as the lenders here on the call, think about the niche products that you have in your portfolio. Think about the unique loans that you can offer as part of uh, your lender. Um, the, many of those product scenarios are not easy to understand and you have to show them and there's no better way and no faster way to show them than the total cost analysis. We've added a lot of template capabilities, strategy templates, other things so that you can predefine hundreds of fields. So if you want to show some niche products, you're able to select and illustrate. And I, and I just can't emphasize enough, whether it's rolling student loans in, whether you've seen some of these doctor, nurse, and other critical professions that have certain uh, loan programs, whether it's down payment assistance and DPA solutions that people uh, don't necessarily take the time to, to know that they have and can offer. All of these things together can be illustrated so clearly and uniquely with the total cost analysis. You just need to take the time to illustrate a few of those loan programs and just see how clear it becomes for the customer. But if you have niche products that you aren't offering today or you haven't taken the time to learn how to offer, take the time out, uh, create those templates and mortgage coach and start selling them today because those products can help families right now. Right. Yeah, and two, two more things, folks, for everybody that's on this call and you're like, this is a strategy you don't know how to do. Every Wednesday, 11 o'clock, we teach you how to master every strategy to be a mortgage coach black belt. If you're a branch manager or a regional leader or a head of production on this, it's important that your loan officers know how to do this. So they have the tool and every Wednesday at 11 o'clock Pacific, all we do is teach mortgage coach strategies. So the audience shows up, we ask them what they wanna learn. We usually start with whatever gets the popularity test and then we just teach strategies. So we do training, live training every, for, every Wednesday, 11 o'clock Pacific on this. Greg is going to also show a purchase TCA. I have put a link to that in comments in both Zoom and Facebook. So when he gets ready to go through that purchase TCA, click on it so you can go through the consumer experience. Greg, right. anything else on this before we transition? Yeah, to so, so to Jacob makes a great point. And that's uh, this one. I, I didn't do that because the guy was already dropping down from, from 25 to 15. But on every refi TCA that I do, I will, I, I have a, a policy on my team. If I do it or somebody else on the team does the, the, the TCA, we have a minimum of three strategies. Okay. And um, that's just because we want to give people the breadth of, of knowledge and, and possibilities. And so what I'll typically do is I'll do uh, a rate with points with no points. And then I'll take one of those and show if you keep making your same payment that you're making today, so no more cash out of your pocket. Here's what uh, here's what that does. And I've seen uh, the best one I saw was a guy who did a uh, uh, little less than a, a two years ago. He bought, he bought a home using a down payment assistance program with us, and and so we were able to refinance him and drop his freedom point from 28 and a half years to 19 and a half years just by making the same payment with which he was already comfortable with. So that's something huge right now, because uh, as we all know, the, for those, those of us that were in the last uh, boom back in the early 2000s, what were people doing? They were just taking every dollar out of their house. They weren't putting it back in. They were buying boats and ski doos and all those types of things. And so, you know, we want to, we want to be good stewards of, of home ownership as well. And to Joe's point of all, you know, there's a reason people have so much equity in their homes now. And, and it's because the, the government has come in basically and, and made it harder to take money out of your house. So let's take that a step further and help people get, get freedom in their mortgage. Guys, did you hear that life changer? So and did you hear team standard? So if you're on this call and you lead a team, it's as simple as saying, hey, we have a standard. Every Fruity gets three options with a TCA and every time like go beyond what the normal experience is and show the power of prepaying or the power of reinvesting. So Greg, we got about five minutes left to do the purchase TCA. There's yeah. a link everybody. And then guys, 
We're gonna finish our regular show. We'll stay live for about five minutes because I do wanna make sure the people that ask questions get those questions answered. So we're gonna go about five minutes over guys to do some Q and A. Greg, what do we got here? Yeah, so one thing I wanna point out before I get into the TCA is, is down here um, with social survey. I, I actually linked up social survey, oh gosh, maybe, maybe six weeks ago and uh, have 62 reviews on there. Uh, I'm getting great feedback from this from clients. They love that that not only their information on their loan is there, but they can go in and they can see like, hey, what are other people saying about me? And so I'm actually getting people saying, hey, uh, loved loved the reviews to have those right in the same place. So a, as everyone knows, people shop these days, and that's one of the ways they shop is they want to see what other folks' experience is uh, with you. So I haven't been using social survey that long, but already have 62 reviews. And, uh, you know, I think 4.95 is not bad. So we'll go, we'll go with that. Um, okay. So this, this one, this is a gentleman that called me or it was referred to me from a realtor. Um, he, he has VA eligibility, which we love helping veterans. Um, and of course, like a lot of VA uh, clients, they want to start with zero down. So, uh, this gentleman had used his eligibility before, uh, and so in at zero down, of course, we know that fee has gone up for 2020, so it's 3.6 percent of the loan amount. Huge, huge chunk that gets added to your loan amount if you're not um, uh, exempt from that fee. So I wanted to show him zero down, which is what he asked for again. Uh, I also wanted to show him five percent down because he had sold a house and he had some money, so he had the ability to do that. So 5% down, you drop your, your uh, funding fee down from, uh, you can see actually, let me go to closing costs over here. Um, you can see that fee goes from 14,400 to 62.70. So great return on your investment if you can put that extra 5% down, okay? Um, and then I also, so this gentleman also said he thought he might get relocated in about five years. And so then we talked about, well, gosh, you know, what do you, if you're going to buy a house and you're only going to be here for five years, that, that changes the strategy. What do you think you're going to do with this house later? And he said, well, you know, I really like the housing market up here. Maybe I'll keep it as a rental. I said, cool. That's great. Let's look at, let's look at another option too. So then I showed him a conventional 5% down option. Okay. So if we go back to the upfront mortgage insurance uh, charge, you can see that with a conventional loan, it's zero, right? So his loan amount is already starting off quite a bit lower at 380 versus one of these two options. And he's getting still a really good rate. He is gonna have mortgage insurance, so he's gonna pay about $88 a month more. But here's the solution for this gentleman that I think ultimately he's going to take the, the conventional 5% down um, is, if he locks in a rate, you know, an unbelievable rate that are available right now, okay? If he locks that rate in, in five years, we don't know what rates are gonna be, but let's assume they're going to be higher than the all-time low, okay? If he wanted to use his VA eligibility to buy when he moves, then he might be in a position where he would have to refinance to keep this house as a rental, to free up his VA eligibility. But what we're doing here is showing him how, hey, you can start out with a conventional loan, keep that, that rate, keep the, the loan that you have, drop the mortgage insurance when the home appreciates to a certain point, and then you're left with a really great mortgage and you still have your VA uh, entitlement available for when you move here in five years and maybe you want to buy a more expensive house and you don't have a large down payment for that. So this is just an example of how I use Mortgage Coach and the TCAs to explain concepts that come up and pop into my head as I'm talking to people about their strategies. Love, love, love it. Guys, so we are really close to the top of the hour. Uh, I am going to go for an extra five minutes because we have some questions to be answered. 
Uh, before I bring in the answers or the questions from the audience, Jacob, anything you want to share there? Any any considerations? So I think this is it, this is a great comparison, Greg. I mean, the, the idea of somebody that has VA eligibility having a better alternative by not taking a VA, that, that is some pretty outside of the box thinking. I love it. I love the, the strategy you're showing. Um, to draw something out for, for everybody else that's watching here, it's kind of a minute thing, but if you're not aware of what this does, you should start using it. There's a, note, there's a field called payment notes and Greg is using them perfectly. So when you look just beneath the payment streams, there's a blurb of text there. It's got a couple of double asterisks next to it and it's, it's tied to the same double asterisks that are right next to the payment. It's really important. If you want to put some extra verbiage around maybe the types of scenarios you're offering, the types of payments, whether they include taxes and insurance, whether you're just doing P&I comparisons, that's the perfect place to put it. And you actually have a pretty substantial amount of room, so you can put a pretty mm -hmm. good paragraph in there. So just kind of keep that in mind. Great use of it. Um, I love what you're doing here. Looks, looks really good. Greg, if you could stop sharing your screen so we go yeah. into Q&A mode. Joe, any color you want to provide or any comments you have before we do Q&A? Uh, simply that it's uh, great to see in here that you were able to gather so many reviews in such a short time using a solution like Social Survey. I, I would just expand to the community that there isn't one repository today for professional reviews on mortgage professionals. So the ability for the consumer to hear voice of customer, that subjective experience from other people that have worked with you, there's not a, a one place for them to go. So here at Mortgage Coach, we measure how many times that uh, review box gets seen, how many times do people actually look at the more reviews to go in and see the rest of your details. And it's tens of thousands of times the presentations that have reviews, they get seen. So you think about that. These are prospective customers who would have never known that you had four plus stars, who would have never been able to read the words of uh, people's lives that you touched because they didn't know where to go look and see them. And now they're in the same place where you give the objective uh, information, the advice about all the loan products that you offer in that same place. Now here's all the subjective and insightful information about what people have experienced with you personally. And that's so incredibly powerful. You're going to hear about uh, additional enhancements to that integration, including, I know, support for broker edition here in the near future. So very exciting to see uh, reviews making a difference for you, Greg, and, and again, for the folks in our community. But David, thanks. All right, guys. So we're going to do rapid fire Q&A. First question to you, Greg, and let's try to keep the answers to 30 seconds to a minute so we can get every question cleaned out of here. Greg, people, um, Stacy or Catherine, no, actually, it's Stacy wants to know, when do you send the TCA? on purchase leads referred? Like where in the process do you send it? So I have a conversation first with the client and then I, depending on the situation, I will either put together an initial TCA or I will have them apply first. Just depends on the strategy. If it's somebody that I think is gonna be pretty, you know, straightforward, then I might send them a, a TCA at the beginning. And then uh, again, I'll follow up after they make application. If it's somebody that I have no idea what we're going to be able to do, I'm going to make them make application first and then I'll do a TCA. Got it. Uh, Jody said, I love how I could generate a TCA at a Jingo. Um, Jody, we're going to cover more uh, CRM integrations. Next time we have Joe and Jacob back, we're going to do a workflow call and we're going to showcase um, more integrations and we'll make sure we cover our our CRM partners and all of our CRM partners that integrate with Mortgage Coach, it's easy to activate and it makes creating a TCA faster. So thank you for that comment. All right, so I don't see any more questions in Facebook, but we do have a bunch here in Zoom. Is there an area in MC where Greg could show how to do potential rental income? Let's just do kind of yes or no on rental income. Let's not get into the weeds on it. Greg, do you show rental income? Uh, you know, I, I have in the past, I haven't done it recently, so I don't have a TCA that I can think of, but I have shown that in the past as well, where you can show, Thanks. Hey, you know, here's what you could possibly, you know, get as a return on this particular property. Cool. Uh, we have Zoe, who is a big producer. I've interviewed Zoe. She's a hundred million dollar producer with Envoy. Uh, it's good to have you on today's call. She, um, 
when it, oh, she said, when is it live? We covered that. And then she also asked a question about the HomeBot integration, Jacob or Joe, the TCA options that are provided, is that live actual pricing through my OB? Where are the rates delivered from? One of you two. I'll, I'll go ahead and take that, Joe. Um, the, the rates are populated by HomeBot. So what they're doing is they're using the average market rates uh, for the different types of loan scenarios. So it's kind of like a pre-call rate more than a fully qualified rate. So they're giving you uh, the best thing they can give you for the market without knowing the specifics of their, their FICO score and so forth. Cool. The, and then, the uh, analysis that comes directly in the mortgage coach, as soon as you get it in the advice engine and open it, you can click your uh, optimal blue button inside of the advice engine and instantly update it with the rates from that moment for your specific lender. So what's coming over from HomeBot is their general data, or their monitor data, and then what you're able to update or apply to the presentation is your scenario specific. How do I set up closing costs for HomeBot? Uh, David had asked a question on. So HomeBot actually doesn't send any closing costs. So that's one of the elements that you'd want to make modifications to as, you're, as you get a new uh, incoming file in the automation tab. That's when you go in, assign your closing cost templates and that completes the presentation. Uh, but initially when the HomeBot record comes over, it's just going to show some, some very basic details of the loan products themselves. Um, and it's up to you to, to to make it more colorful as you see fit. It'll stand alone on its own, but obviously the more you can put in there, the more detail, the better it's gonna be for your borrower. All right, guys, if you have more questions, let us know. A few people asked some how-to questions. I, I put a link to how to set up the HomeBot integration. We also have a page on our website that's called Mortgage Coach Partners. And there's how-to for every active integration we have. There is, you know, go to that page, go to that integration, and there is a how to set it up. You can also email support at mortgagecoach.com with questions, or you could go to our chat. We actually, you'll get faster service. The fastest service at Mortgage Coach is through our chat feature. Uh, let's see. I felt like there was one more question that came in. Oh, is the debt consultant, it brings in, yeah, so someone just asked, David asked, does the debt consolidation, will it be bringing in debts from the um, 321 file or 3.2 file? So yes, David, uh, it definitely will. We've got an import function for Fannie Mae 3.2 files already uh, built into the front page of a new client. So we're expanding that to include the debts. So when you bring in a, a Fannie Mae 3.2, it will bring in the itemized debts and it'll try and classify you, uh, tr try and classify those debts based on their designation back from wherever you exported it. So uh, we, we're trying to make it as sticky as possible. You should get all the debts to come through and get them pre-classified for yourself. So guys, let's close out like this. And I'm gonna really throw the baton to you, Greg, cause you're, you're an industry leader, you're a top producer, you know, you, you get coached and you also coach and mentor a lot of loan officers. How do you wanna close it out? Like what advice do you have as a leader and a mentor to any loan officer listening to today's call? Yeah, I think that uh, especially right now when you have the opportunity to touch as many clients as you can, you have time for, uh, I think providing that extra effort, right? The, the extra analysis, providing a, a clear report so that people are comfortable. It's an amazing opportunity right now because it's then you, it's not just about the numbers. As you always mention, it's, it's you know, advice over price and, and I really believe that right now that taking the extra time to uh, do some analysis with your client to make sure that they're gonna end up with the best loan for them, that will pay off for years and years and years to come through referrals and that type of thing rather than just taking sometimes the easy route which you're not doing anything memorable. You're doing exactly what any online you know warehouse shop can do. So. I think just take that time and, and make clients for life rather than, than just get a refi right now. Love, love that. Joe, any closing thoughts that you have or any ask to our community to help you make our product better? So we're just always open for feedback and to put everything that we said here to work, we're here to help. So let us know how we can help. And Greg, thanks so much for taking the time to share your insight today. Yeah, thanks guys.
All right, guys, if you got any value from today's call, give it a like, whatever social media channel you're in. If you are a manager and you want to make sure your loan officers get better at delivering advice, make sure they come to our Wednesdays uh, mortgage strategy training, 11 every Wednesday. We're teaching you what to do, how to do it. Remember, guys, we're doing a live call some way, somehow, every single day. So make sure you follow the Mortgage Coach calendar, and hopefully you got a, an hour of value. Hey, thank you to Joe, Jacob, and uh, Greg. You guys have a good one, man. Thanks, guys. Take care. Take care, everybody. Bye.